Uba Regnason. You are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother, one I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. What have you got for me today? You done? I must be on my way. So long. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. I wonder how Hafton fares, now that he sits on the throne. Hmm. Moira may know where Hafton has gone. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. 
With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pichiringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pichiringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. No glory, no hope. Nothing but snow. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Eva. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother. And never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. 
Uber knew, did he not? Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. Is Beontan guarding the hammer? Lighthouse, Hafton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time.
<laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side. Awaiting the war at the end of days. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Welcome at my home. <laughs> 